State police say that the bodies of the two men were found trapped underwater in a truck oh. near the midsection of the fallen Key Bridge. Efforts to recover more bodies have reportedly been suspended due to dangerous conditions. Well, structural and civil engineer Julian Carter joins us now. Um, I know this obviously is a couple of days old now, Julian, so you've probably been asked this a million times or more. I can't quite get over how something like that, that structurally, how it's completely collapsed within seconds after mm. that one collision. You think it would be more structurally sound, more safeguards in place for that sort of thing? Well, these are actually very fragile, simple structures. And I think if, if people Google for a picture of the fourth bridge, there's a very famous photograph that shows how simple in principle it actually is. Um, it's a continuous structure. And when we say very little redundancy, it's not a girder bridge, we've got huge spans. And and so the way that it's articulated, the way that it actually works, you've you've taken a centre pier out and, and where these bridges want to talk to each other across a joint, um, which is the pier, that, that ship has knocked it over, knocked it over, and effectively it no longer can talk. And so it then is just disconnected along its length and and it, it, it's fragile, you know. There's very little extra material in there um, that isn't needed. And so a collision of this kind, it's a catastrophic failure. What was your reaction when you, when you saw the videos of that bridge coming down? I mean, you're, you're the experts you'd be able to describe to us, but it didn't appear to have any protective infrastructure at the base, which you do see on some bridges, don't you? So if it were to strike the base of the bridge, it wouldn't actually cause the bridge to collapse. Yes, and... and Structures, we, we say they can be massive and passive. You could have in a design, bear in mind this is a 50 year old design and, and the container ships were, were, were nowhere near the beam moths and huge as they are today. And, and so you could say, well, we can build a massive pier around a, a, a concrete um, water structure um, around that pier, or we put pilots on the boat, we put measures in place to de-risk that um, but also, let's bear in mind, in a port, typically there are many, many rules on how a ship can enter and leave a port. And the fendering that we have, the, the dolphins, as they're called, are not generally designed to take an absolute full-on frontal collision, which is what's happened here. And, and unfortunately, we learn, sometimes we learn safety by accident. And, and this is one of those uh, key moments, unfortunately. And Julian, we don't have long with you, but just in terms of we're just seeing some live pictures on, on the well, We are about to see some live uh, pictures uh, of the bridge in Baltimore. Uh, in terms of dismantling that structure and rebuilding a new one, I mean, how long are we looking at that taking? Well, it's the desire to taking it away is one specialist activity. So it's done safely because you imagine how all this structure is behaving how it wants to. Um, then you've got to come in and design the new structure, and then there's the fabrication. America was producing a little bit more steel 50 years ago than it is today. Th this is a major undertaking, um, hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars here, and, and probably the, the works in the river, the, the sea works are going to be huge. These are uh, not toys. This, this is serious engineering and, and, and millions and millions and millions, very expensive. OK, uh, Julian, it's really good to talk to you and, and to get your expertise. Yeah. Thanks very much indeed. I mean, you can't really tell by looking at it, but it's like 1.4, 1, 1. 1.6 miles long. Yeah. It's massive structure. You can only really tell when you see the bird's eye image, which I don't think that we've actually got, but it's, it's a long, vast bridge. It's hard to believe it actually came down.